Hi, welcome to simplyscuba.com. In this session, we're taking a look at the waterproof W3 wetsuit. It comes in both male and female cut. We'll be going through the male cut here for the purpose of the video. Let's go ahead and take a close look. So waterproof make a fantastic range of wetsuits, and the W3 is no exception. Got some really great features in here. So if we go ahead and start by taking a look at the collar at the top, double rolled around the very top there just for added bit of comfort. We've also got glide skin on the inside here as well, just to get a good seal around the neck, obviously preventing any of that water from flushing through. Also got a little zipper here at the front here as well. So once you do surface from your dive, you may want to open this up, allow a bit of air to get in, get you a bit more comfortable. And obviously when you're on the boat before you get into the water, it's a nice added little bit of comfort before you get in. And obviously zip that up just to tighten that seal up a little bit more and obviously prevent that water from getting in. The tab at the top here as well, it's got some little special teeth on here that will only adhere to the panel around the neck. It's not going to attach to the actual wetsuit material, the neoprene, so it won't damage it, which obviously gives it a little bit of longevity for the suit. We've got some little rubberized panels on here, these little circles. Give you a little bit of extra traction for your BCD straps, which obviously go onto there. It prevents them from moving around too much. They sit on there nice and comfortably, and obviously keeps you comfortable as well. The arms and also the legs are all pre-bent, as you can see from the suit hanging up here. This means they, they bend to the curves of the arm, make it a lot more comfortable to wear, and obviously you don't have to bend your arms when you're in the water too much and fight against the neoprene of the suit. It all moves with you and keeps you a lot more comfortable. So we've got these panels on the inside here, a little bit ribbed, which obviously help give it that extra bit of flex. There's also a bit more of a heavy duty neoprene on the back there for an elbow pad. Down on the cuffs, again, we've got this little traction material, these little rubberized dots on here. So you can put your computer over the top of there. We've got this on both sides. Just gives that extra bit of traction, prevents your computer from moving around while you're on your dive. Cuffs again, double sealed or double folded around the, the front. Extra bit of comfort. Then got the large zip at the back here, which you can open out. We have a, an inner sleeve. So if you wear gloves on your dive, literally pop this through, pop your glove over the top of there. You can then strap over the top, zip it all in. You get a great seal around the cuff and prevents any of that water from flushing through again. On the main part of the body, got minimal panels. Obviously, the big benefit of this is it cuts down the amount of stitching needed, which again, lessens the amount of areas for the water to be able to enter into the wetsuit, so the less panels the better. Nice little rubberized motif in the middle there. Down on the legs, again as we mentioned before, all pre-bent, so we've got that ribbing on the back there just to help curve the leg itself. Nice rubberized knee pad on the front here as well, obviously just protect the suit when you are down on your knees putting your gear together. And down on the ankles, same system as you had on the cuffs, double rolled, got that nice large zip and that internal sleeve as well. So when you pop your boots on over the top of that inner sleeve, zip it all together and you get a nice tight seal. Round on the back of the suit, obviously got the draw cord to get into the zip, nice long draw cord this, really easy to grab hold of. We've also got again that panelling on the back here, this ribbing to help the suit curve with your body. We've also got these little rubberized pads, same as we've got on the shoulders and on the cuffs here, just on the seat of the wetsuit, so maybe if you're on the boat or anything, while you're sat down just gives you that extra bit of traction, keeps you a little bit safer. Nice chunky YKK zip, and a nice large glide skin baffle on the inside of there as well. Again, it's just going to help prevent that water from flushing through. A little bit of extra padding around the zip area as well, just to protect you from your, your cylinder and your BCD. On the inside, you can see we've got this nice bright orange material. Small little hexagonal panels on the inside of here. This is Waterproof's Hextech system. The idea of this is to prevent the water from the inside moving around too much, so keep it in a, a static position, which means your body can heat that water up a lot easier, which obviously means it can keep you warm as well. So fantastic system, very simple, but exceptionally effective. So that's the W3. As we said, it does come in both a women's and a men's cut. All the features on the women's suit are exactly the same other than the cut itself. So a fantastic wetsuit from Waterproof, the W3.